Hello, and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host, Jason Turner. I'm available for code reviews, contracting, and on-site training. Uh, a while back, I did an episode on C++20's designated initializers, and I got the actual accepted syntax slightly wrong, so I'm going to see if I can get that right in this episode and go on to demonstrate a couple of other possible things that you could do with them. So starting here with our ints i and j, our designated initializers in C++20 should look something like this. So we have this dot i equals 1, dot j equals 2 kind of thing happening here. And this is ultimately the syntax that was accepted for C++20. Now, interesting to me is as far as I know, we don't have any way of doing kind of braced initialization or anything like that here. We have to do this equals syntax, which I think is, I don't know, maybe not perfect, but we could see what the limitations of this are. If I make this an unsigned integer and I pass in a signed integer, I do get a compile time error here. And in fact, it tells me to use a static cast to explicitly cast it. And this is using some recent version of Clang in C++ 2A mode. So it seems that even though it is this equal syntax, it is really more equivalent to the braced initialization that does not allow implicit conversions. So we have this, but we like to play with lambdas on this channel. And if you don't know that already, then I suggest you go back and watch all of the episodes that I have on lambdas, because in my opinion, they're a lot of fun. And so the question might be, what can we do here? Can we put an immediately invoked lambda? We can, in fact, use an immediately invoked lambda. So now i is equal to the value 1, supposedly. Let's double check. And it is, we see that we're getting 1 returned in R0 here, so that's working exactly as expected. Well, okay, that's not terribly exciting, I guess, but it is something that we can use. It gives us another tool for initializing things in place in complex ways without ever having to question about moves or copies of objects happening or anything like that, because we can rely on return value optimization, or a guaranteed copy elision and move elision happening here with our lambdas return statement. So, you know, I think that's actually pretty cool. I'm okay with that. Now, something that I have not tried, and I don't expect this to work, but we'll give it a go, see if we can use designated initializers with class template type deduction. So it's not surprising that this fails actually here because no viable constructor deduction guide for deduction template exists because there's no constructor here. So it can't automatically deduce what the constructor parameters would be with no constructor. And in fact, if we add a constructor, it raises another question. So we've provided a constructor for us here. But now we're seeing this the no viable constructor deduction guide for deduction template of s. Cannot convert argument for incomplete type void to int for second argument. So it really does not like this combination of constructor with class template type deduction and designated initializers. Let's just go ahead and template this on the first parameter int. And we are now getting a more reasonable no matching constructor because, well, we just can't use our designated initializers with our constructor here. If we're using designated initializers, and I've seen inconsistent behavior, I'm not exactly sure what the rules are from uh, the standard perspective. We'll have to see how this falls out too when C20 is released as far as how designated initializers with public members versus constructors interact with each other. But at the moment, don't expect that to work. But we can get ourselves all the way back to this version and get back to the point of this video that we can, in fact, use lambdas in line with our designated initializers here. So there's 
running out of places where we can't use lambdas in line for various ways of initializing things. So be sure to keep that tool in your toolbox. And thanks for watching, and I hope you liked this video.